Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our Gorok Let's Play. We have Rocket ready to go. He is ready to use his slanty powers and... Look at his glowy eyeballs. Weird, weird, weird glowy eyeballs. We are ready to get this started, to quash this rebellion. Uh, we are going to set up our front line through here with our stegos uh, interspersed within that front line. I want my skinks to come around here to be ready to go up on the hill. Let's get him back here, our Scar Veteran over here on the side, and our two artillery ready to fire over here. And let's get going. Maybe that's too far. I would like you boys to come set up up here. Uh, actually, I would much rather have you like this. Raining down on them there. We do still have the Rites of Resilience shields on us. And uh, not far enough, guys. I want to get my Bastilodons in range. And they should just fire at will here. Yeah, they'll start firing. Let's get all of our front line just, you know what, and you guys too, just moving up. Get him over here to the side. Bastilodons, why are you hitting the trees? Oh my god, get out of the trees. Oh no, they're gonna shred my skinks. I want... Well, they're going to go straight into anti-larges. Get up here, start doing something. You guys should also be in skirmish mode. Scar Veteran, go in. 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 You two wrap around there. Get in here. Uh, you are doing nothing, so you're gonna go back there. And... Start firing in, please. Let's turn skirmish mode off on this. Live slan has an explosion spell we can cast and then my scar veteran should be going in on their captain yeah easy fight actually uh drop some healing on that dino and you should be going in on their captain Let's go in on the slingers. You also go in on the captain. And we're done. Already done. Easy fight. Easy battle. <laughs> I love the way those Bastilodon shots look. Where are they going? Where are they going? I missed them. Stick it on doing his work. Little rat boy should be here somewhere. Just shooting into the hillside like an idiot. I don't know what you're doing, bro. Where'd little rat boy go? Oh, he's escaped. Why is everybody on guard instead of just attacking? Where do my skinks go? Hola, skinks! Get up there. Why are you firing into the wall? Get up on the hill. Ugh, stupid Basilitons. <laughs> not a not a promising start to Rapet's first battle here. I mean, we killed things, but did we kill it well? No. 
but his his wood explosion spell does do a pretty good amount of work so that's pretty cool but we're not going to be able to do anything until we take out until we can take out this stupid rat and we're gonna deal more damage to our troops than him i bet let's see if we can get a shot of of a Bastilodon shooting through here. He's holding his own. He's doing his best. But here comes a Stegodon. Oh, oh my god. And shoot into the rats. Wow. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Retreat. <laughs> Retreat. Surrender. Stegodon coming through. Dealing more damage to my guys than to his guys, unfortunately. Okay, and the battle is won. Let's just keep wailing on them. Wailing on them, try to get some experience points on somebody. Is my Scar Veteran going to be able to do anything? I can't even see him. Where is he? There he is. Let's pull the Stegodon out. He's he's just causing havoc. Let's get this Scar Veteran in here to do something. Before we end this fight. Just a scrum of bodies. Nothing visible. Just lizards jumping everywhere. This is what I imagine fighting Lizardmen would look like. Just seas of lizards <laughs> jumping about. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Kill him! Kill him dead! Come on! Rapet, do you have anything? Do you have anything you can do? Let's try. Wow, you're way over there. Why are you way over there, pal? What are you doing? Chasing people down. End this battle. Kill him. Give me my experience. Let's speed this up. He'll die soon. Let's wait. There we go. And end the battle. <laughs> what a mess. What an actual mess that was. Who did the most? Oh my gosh, 116 on that Stegodon. Love them. Love Stegodons. So that rebellion is dealt with. But we're going to take the money for sure. Even though it's only 200. 200 goes a long way when you have nothing. And you're still kicking, huh? We'll send Gorok up here. And we'll just auto-resolve that one out. And take the money there. And Gorok is going to come down towards... Uh, Chupiotl. Uh, to take the next Clan Pestilence city that we can take. I would like to have Rapet start moving around this way. And see if I can get him another couple of units. Uh, we have super strong Sauruses. But I also have like some big beefy units. So four turns though is a long time for the recruitment there. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I need, like, a runner. I need to, like, start playing this like I would play Heroes of Might and Magic and have a hero running things around. Uh, Gorok. Ah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to trade. I should have I should have traded before I put Raw Pet in the city. I'm going to trade next turn. Gorok's two Pastilodons for two Stegodons. And that'll be that. Proud Warrior getting better Sauruses. Imminent Rebellion 
over here, and we'll send Rophead over here to deal with that rebellion. And he'll be up here near Quetzal to be able to pick up some better units. Seven turns until we grow again. I would like to get some uh, Pterodon into somebody's army. So it would be good to get those. But right now it's just a matter of taking out Pestilence. That's our goal. Rail the Infectious. What? What rebel faction are you? The Lost... Like, it's not Spittle. It's not Pestilence. We dropped down to 150 factions in the game. We have the Spine of Sotek. This, uh, these mountain ranges protecting us a little bit from Rakarth. So we don't have to worry too much about him. But he is going to be a pain in the butt. Blood Keepers are gone. I didn't destroy them, though. Who did? Oh, this is, uh, the... Is this the Huntsman? Yeah. Uh, that's kind of irritating. I kind of wanted to do that myself. Let's trade... Bastilodon for Stegos. And we'll trade down those and then we'll move you over here and we'll pick up some better units next turn six turns i don't want to do this i would rather upgrade my main settlement there and gorok with your newfound super army here we're going to come take chupayoto oh he's got a croxagore i like these i like these legendary not legend these lords the croxagores they look cool. They look amazing. But they kind of suck <laughs> a little bit. They kind of suck a little bit. So unfortunately, nobody uses them. We've got trade agreements everywhere. Clan of Sotek. I would love a confederation. I would love a confederation, bro. But you're not going to do that, are you? Not until I get bigger. Would love to have Tehinawin in my army. Uh, full skink army. That would be pretty cool. Pretty cool, but it's not going to happen. And now that I have like a good solid base of like territory, a couple of provinces, I want to build up my geomantic web as high as I can get it. I see two Pestilence armies here that we're going to have to deal with sooner rather than later. So these three territories are Pestilence, for sure. I'm about to take Chupiotl, so that's not going to be them for much longer. Sacrifice to Mathlan. Oh, that's a Black Ark. That's a little scary. Don't like Black Arcs. Move into this. Uh, just auto-resolve that. It's just a little rebellion. We don't really care too much i'm running out of turns on my uh super cool army ability with the the ability the shield ability the right of resilience so i really would like to start using that get the best use out of that this is we're gonna auto resolve that too there's no point in fighting that loop and occupy because money is good. And next turn, we head over to the Sentinel of Time. And start taking out all of those armies over there. Life Bloom, for sure. And we probably want to start moving into Bonded Service. To make it a little cheaper on Rapet there. Don't want anything really. I would like some of these better regiment of renowns. Would really like this blessed Stegodon or this blessed Carnosaur. Those would be good. 
We've got some really, really good regiment of renowns in here. The Pale Death. I need to be ranked 26, though. That's not going to happen. Uh, let's spawn in our regiments. You know what? I don't want those skinks. I don't like that skink regiment. So we'll recruit that. Just to have a bit of a larger army, so we're not scared. Sore Scar Fighter... Or Scar Veteran keeps going into thick skin so he doesn't die. Itza can be upgraded finally. That's a big boost for us. And if we look at the Geomantic Web... It's not good. We would rather these be green. So... We need to start upgrading things quickly. I need to get up there to do this quest battle as well. I think my armies are just about in the right spot. If I could get some Pterodons, I think we'd be good for that quest battle. There were some Chaos Siege units there for that, I'm pretty sure. So some Pterodons would be nice to deal with those. Or some Cold One Riders would be... Pretty good as well. But I don't have either of those buildings at this point. But we're getting close. We're getting there. Gorok's going to cut straight across into the Sentinel of Time. Oxer Malratra. I'm not particularly scared of any of these armies. We've got one more turn. Oh, uh, nope, it just ran out. Just ran out this turn, huh? Okay, well. That's unfortunate, but it's not going to stop us. Not going to slow us down. Keep moving forward here. Rice Cursed Peak and Mine of the Bearded Skulls. It's a little dangerous advancing up this far because then we have to deal with Rakarth. And Rakarth is moving down. He is moving over here. So maybe... Is this Teclas? No, who is that? Citadel of Dusk. Okay, well... If we have Gorok moving through here... And we have Rapet moving up here... This might be okay for us. We almost have, thinking about this, we actually almost have the short campaign victory done. Uh, we've got 12 out of 30. We have Clan Pestilence almost defeated. We are going to take 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, possibly 18, 19. As long as we just take out Rakarth, I mean, we've got pretty much our short victory already taken care of. Uh, ooh, uh, do I go for the trade or do I go for the growth? Growth, I think, is going to be a little better in that area. A lot of time spent on the campaign map this episode. Not a lot of battles for me to fight right now, but this is going to be a pretty big one as soon as he comes around. Uh, yeah. Infectica is there. Raw Pet's going to come take this. And then... That's a lot of units. It's probably a lot of Skaven Slaves. But it is a lot of units. Yes, High Elves. I'll give you your non-aggression pack for right now. You can hang out down there at the end, tip of South America. You can... Where is Tehinoin? Is Tehinoin gone? No, Tehinoin, buddy, no! Tehinoin, you've got to take the, the Confederation at this point. What? No, Tehinoin. Wow, he's just about out. Uh, Rapet... Come take this city. We will just auto-resolve that one out. Just a small settlement garrison. Not too concerned there. 
And then the real question is, what do we do with Gorok? If we go down here, we are looking at a fight that we can't win. Just the sheer number of Skaven there. If we go over here, I mean, this is not that bad. These Charybdis are scary, but I do have basically a full line of anti-large. This is not that scary. But, you know what? I think we gotta go big. We've gotta start taking care of Skaven. Uh... Oxer, wow, they're just running. Chickens! The cowards! They all flee me! Wow, him running that far away is a big win for me. Because that means he can't reinforce any of these battles. And this is not worth fighting at all. I mean, look at this. It's just nothing. It's a whole bunch of nothing. Take the money, I guess. Okay, so that's dealt with. He's only got one army down here now, and I'm hoping that the the AI can sort of deal with that. I don't really want Rapet dealing with Triellen here. I would rather have Gorok there. Uh, keep filling in Proud Warrior. And then... Croak. Croak can get... I would like to get Croak up and around here, so... Unlocks Colossal Deliverance. Unlocks Ultimate Deliverance. If I do this, then I can't have him in my army? Damage is the walls. But we're going to check that out. We're going to see what that's like. We'll put a point into that at least. We're not scared of that. And then bonded service. To make all of our dino recruiting even cheaper. I would like a skink chief at some point, please. So more heroes in this army is just going to make this army better. And the Scar Veteran just keeps going down thick-skinned. Uh, growth, please. We want to be able to upgrade this. And we'll be able to upgrade that as long as we have the money. Speaking of money, income from buildings here. And our core is sort of protected and safe. I would like to see if this group would please like to confederate uh but he does not want the confederation would you you don't like me i don't want to lose to Hinwin. i'd like to Hinwin to stick around but it doesn't seem like he'll be able to he's he's just about wiped He's got one settlement, and it's probably besieged by Rakarth at this point. Drielen's staying right where I want her to. Nope, she's moved. She's moved around. Unfortunate, because I really wanted to chase her down. She's right down here. Is Rakarth... Yeah, Rakarth's over here. That's the scary boy. That's the big scary boy. Rakar's coming down here to deal with Tehanowin for sure. Let's... Oh no! My boy! My boy! They took out my boy. That's a little sad. And we've been plagued. No. How long do we have to suffer from this? Five turns? There's just so much plague. Ah. Uh, 
just so much plague in the area. Okay, Rapet. What do you... You were hidden from me, huh? Well, Gorok is gonna have to come down here eventually. Grolk is still running around there. I kind of want to take you this way. And move you through to take out Pestilence. I just want Pestilence gone. Itza is plagued. Yeah. We can research. Uh... This doesn't do anything for me right now. It won't until I get up here. Ah, yeah, that doesn't do much. Oof, oof. I want this. I need the Grand Plaza for that. I would like this. I need to upgrade the Skink building for that. So we're just going to go for exploitation. For economy. And we'll see what... The Dark Elves plan to do this turn. Being at war with them is a is a pain. The fact that Rakarth declared war on me sucks. I didn't want that. Tehinwin, no, my boy. Mm. I I really wanted Tehinwin as a legendary lord. That would have been nice. What do you want? Military access? You got it, pal. I'll give it to you. You take my military access and love it. Construction cost. That's pretty good. Oakshul has received a plague. Rophead is spreading it around everywhere. He still got four turns from it. Auto resolve that out. We need the... I need the unit replenishment. So we have to take the sack. And as far as he goes... We go in and we take this. And... That's a decisive victory. And loot and occupy. We're gonna have some major rebellion issues... Skrulk's army is just all Skaven slaves. He's got some chieftains here. These warp fire throwers are a little scary. They're a little scary. But he's pretty much an auto win, I think, if we had to fight him. Weapon strength. There we go. Building upgrade. Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade you to three. We have money issues because we're trying to reinforce. We have money issues. I need to slow down my conquering a little bit to up my economy. But we're in like a great position. This this campaign is the exact opposite of our poor... Uh, our poor Kazrak campaign. The Kazrak campaign, it felt like we were on our like last legs every minute of that game. Every minute of that campaign was a minute closer to us dying. Completely falling apart. Stop plaguing everything, Skrulk. Ugh. And... I actually want to I can't get an ambush stance huh mm. can't ambush I would really like to be able to ambush Rakarth that's what I would like. He's definitely coming this way. I think Gorok could take his army. We're going to have major replenishment issues going up here for the Mine of the Bearded Skulls. If I take Rakarth out, then this whole coastline is pretty much takeable. 
Roke. We're going to go for Protection of the Old Ones for Spell Resistance. Rapet. Bonded Service. We want to get to the Casualty Replenishment rate. That's what we want. And more money, please. Repair Chupiotl. We can repair this as well. Can't repair that, though. Don't have the cash. Let's see if we get the ambush. Come on. We're sneaky lizards. This is a jungle. You're on a giant dragon. We do get the ambush, but we lose, like, the entirety of our army. Ooh, that's uh, less than good. But what we're losing is skinks. And do we care that much about skinks? What do you have? You have mammoths. You have wyverns. You have bears. Manticores. Stegodons. Mm, cold ones. So, like, our spear boys are going to have to do some work. These are lots of single entity units. Anti large. Uh, bleak swords, not that bad. Shades, not too bad. Rakarth is a little scary himself because he's a fly boy. If I had, if I still had that right, this wouldn't be a problem at all. 16 versus 17. You know what? This is going to be the end of this episode, and we'll pick this up next episode. So if you like this episode, leave me a like. What do you think about this battle? Do you think I'll be able to take on Rakarth? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, this has been STG Sheep, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.